Dr. Doreen Hock, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I grew up in Long Island, in New York, and um, I grew up with my parents, my family. I'm an only child, and my parents always stressed believing in yourself and trying your best, and they said that that was the best measure of success. And so that's what I try to do to this day. I try to do the best I can, and that helps me be the best, best physician that I can be. Well, I love spending time with my family. Um, I like playing with my kids. They keep me really busy. Um, but they keep me young, too. Um, I like to be outside. I do almost anything that I can that's active and being outside. Um, I play tennis. I started running recently. I just signed up for my first 5K turkey trot, which I'm really excited about for this Thanksgiving. So um, it's good. I'm an only child myself. And my parents wanted to have a bigger family, but they couldn't. So even when I was younger, that was a presence in my life. And I think that that makes me a little bit more sensitive to my own patients' experiences now. And now that I have been lucky enough to have three of my own kids, they are a constant reminder to me every day of how hard that I really need to work to try to help other people build their family dream, too. I went to college at SUNY Stony Brook in Long Island, and then I came to New Jersey for medical school. Um, I went to UMDNJ at Robert Wood Johnson, and because of its good reputation, and I had some family in the area as well, and I had such a good experience there that I decided to stay on for my training and during my residency and during my fellowship. RMA is on the cutting edge of reproductive science, and it's being here, I know that I can give my patients the best success rates available in the region, if not the entire country. And it's kind of nice to know, too, that I can offer them anything that the field has to offer right here, and I don't have to send them anywhere else to do so. And so it's a really special place to be. Well, we do a lot of genetic screening here that really isn't available anywhere else. And the techniques we use have really improved the accuracy and the safety of the procedure. Um, and that's something that I really don't think that a lot of other places can offer, especially at their own institution. My patients are some of the most motivated and determined women that I have ever met. And um, I've learned through them, you know, to never give up. So let's see, a typical day, I get up at 4.30, and um, I come into the, usually the Somerset office to do scans. We scan from 6 o'clock. I'm usually done by 8, 8.30. And then the patient hour starts. Sometimes I have a little time left that I call some patients in the morning, make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, and then I'll start my patient hours. And that will go anywhere, you know, from 9, 8.39 to probably 4 or sometimes a little bit later. And then I try to get back to anybody that's called during the day, and I usually don't get out of there before 6 o'clock. <laughs> Yesterday I actually called two patients on the way home, um, just tying up some loose ends, making sure that they were okay with that day's results. Um, and I check in on days that I'm off. Um, I'm checking in online. We have a great system where you can check in remotely from wherever you are. Um, so I make sure that everybody's doing well, and I'll call them from wherever I am. I mean, a quick 10-minute phone call is worth so much anxiety that I can relieve from them. It's, it's worth it 10 times over. I think it's really important to educate the patients, so I really try to do that. I try to give them a good understanding of the underlying reasons as to why they might be in the situation that they're in, and then I want them to really understand all the treatment options that are available, and when they choose one, I want them to know why we're doing certain things that, that we're doing. And I find that through that, it makes them really important in the decision-making process, and it keeps them really focused on, okay, I'm gonna do this. You know, I'm gonna be successful. We're gonna make this work together, rather than having it be just me having it work for them. There's a lot of questions, but I think the one that I get asked the most is, what if? What if it doesn't work? And the answer is, there's usually something that always works. It may be what you thought was going to work from the very beginning, or it may be a way that you thought that you would never need or never even wanted to do. But in the end, there's a way that's best for you. We just have to figure out what that is and how and when it's going to happen for you. My patients are great. I mean, they're motivated, they're determined, and I think the ones that stand out the most are the ones that are the most determined. Um, there was one patient not that long ago, and she had come, and she had been trying for quite some time on her own already. And she came in, and she was frustrated, but she was motivated. And she said, stands out, she's like, all my friends have several kids. And so she was feeling pressure from that. She was feeling pressure from her family. And she said, and I am going to do this. I am going to be a mother. And I thought, great, you know, this is the exact kind of patient that I want to work with. And we tried and we tried and there was cycle after cycle for her. And she was not responding well enough 
to be successful with that form of treatment. And But it, every time I walked into that room to scan her, every time she came into my office, she came in with her chin up high, with a smile on her face, and she said, we're going to make this work. And ultimately, she decided to use donor eggs, and now she has two little boys, and I saw her not that long ago in the office. She came in with them, and she had her chin up high, and she was proud as could be, and she said, I am happier than I've ever been. And that's just really cool. They can know that I will give them what they need, that I will work my hardest um, to try to work as a team with them to achieve their goals of a family.